can't say nothing. Oh, 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 you look so Appearance since March 14th. I've been a little absent. Sorry, boys and girls. Here's what I've been doing. But she's back. <laughs> hey guys, oh my god. As you know, we just got over 9,000 subscribers. <laughs> if you're not already, subscribe. We've actually started getting noticed in the street. So Flay has a story to tell. She's gonna take it away. Hey guys, what's up? My family came for the weekend. So I was in Santa Monica. I'm going around the streets and all of a sudden I got stopped and this boy asked me do you play across USC and I was like yes I do and he goes wait are you Flay from Katie DeFeo's videos and I was like ah, ah, yes his name is Jake Cap so follow him on Instagram follow under there him right here it's Jake, right here guys Jake Cap he's the first fan that recognized us in the street we tried to screen record the interaction with him but unfortunately Katie's iPhone was defective <laughs> And um, we didn't quite get the video yeah. saved. Jake, I'm really sorry. If you're watching this, we know you are. I'm very sorry the screen recording didn't work. Jake Cap. Jake Cap. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of you guys are probably wondering, who is Flay? Like, who is she? Like, I, I don't know. So recently, <laughs> so recently on Instagram, I actually made a story and asked you guys to ask me questions about Flay. And we would pick the best five and answer them. But we actually chose eight. So here they are. At Kelly Halls asks, if Flay was a vending machine, what food would she sell? Potato chips. And I would like to validate my answer by saying potato chips represent me in a lot of ways because I'm crunchy, um, <laughs> I'm small, I can be spicy, I can be sweet, I can be a mix of both, you know, a little sour jalapenos, cream and sour cream and onion. And I think a potato chip and the various flavors could best represent myself. Wow. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> At Edelhelm asks, how does it feel to be a legend? Uh, Flay, take it away. All I know is when I die, I'm a mother, mother legend. Wow. I like to thank my parents. You know, they created me. Chad Flayhan, Chad Marianne Marianne Flayhan. Flayhan. Thank you guys thank so you for much. The product right the here. Product. At Sarah J1442 asks, what's your daily makeup routine? As you can tell, I do a real big smoky eye. A lot of effort goes in. Really make sure you accentuate yeah. eyelashes nice and Long. Yeah. At Hot Fay Dog asks, what's your favorite thing about Katie and Izzy? Favorite thing about Katie and Izzy? A lot of people, when your friends are going through adversity and stuff, they're always like, oh, like, let me know, like, whatever I can do, like, I'll be there, like, let me know if you need help, like, and, like, I totally respect that, but what I love about Katie and Izzy is that when their fellow third of the little uh, trio there was down, not did they just text me, they would come with open arms, bearing gifts, like the wise men with Jesus. They offered him gifts, gold and frankincense. And <laughs> it came and bared, bore, bared. <laughs> they always just brighten my spirits and make me laugh when I don't want to laugh. I can be in the worst mood and I see them and I just like, I don't even want to get out of my bad mood, but they make me out of my bad mood. Even tonight, like, Flay was really feeling down. <laughs> she really didn't want to hang out and I said, no. <laughs> but when Flay got her surgery, we didn't want to go the first night. The second night, she was feeling pretty down. The meds were kind of like working in different ways. So we were scheduled to go there around 8 o'clock. And her mom was like, it's a really rough night for Flay. Like, I don't know if she's going to want you guys here. Like, even you guys, believe it or not, cannot bring your spirits up. And, you know, usually someone might get discouraged by that. But I viewed it as a challenge. And Izzy and I went all the way to Rayo's Hollywood. If We went all the way there to get her her favorite meatballs and cheesecake on the West Coast. Not only did we get them, we brought them all the way to downtown. We went into her Airbnb. She was a little sad little kid. And we fixed her up, and by the time we left, she was happy again. And Katie made an exclusive video that has not been aired and may never be aired. You know aired. what? Roll some of it right now. Roll it. Roll it. And it was 70 reasons why I should smile. And you know what? 10,000 10, subs. 10,000 subscribers. We're releasing the video. The video. Subscribe. Jilly Shell. Who's that? <laughs> Some fan. She Weird. said, OMG, what's your pregame ritual? How are you so pretty? Is there anything you can't do? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> No, actually, uh, you know, I know that girl pretty well. She is my best friend from home, uh, Jilly Shop. I think you know the answer to all these, and you just want to get a little Instagram follow, which is great. Everyone follow, follow Jilly, Jilly below. Shell. Connor McGeehan asks, will Flay go out with me? No. Great. Vivian Young, if you were in a zombie apocalypse and you were stuck inside a Home Depot, what would you use as your weapon and why? Vivian, I respect the grind of that question. If I was inside Home Depot in a zombie apocalypse, it, you know, if you look back at our recent videos in the laser tag, slow is fast and fast is slow. So I would, is that not it? No. Probably the thing that chops the trees down. 
Just, and that's your answer. <laughs> the thing that chops the trees down. Hey guys, what's up? So uh, I was just at Filet's, you just saw those clips, and now I'm actually handing the camera over to Izzy. She's going to a dance class tonight. Uh, we're gonna roll a quick clip right now of how good Izzy is at dancing. Oh, wait, I can't say nothing. <laughs> What you know about me? <laughs> you guys know. As he's going to learn how to be better at dancing, we all just thought it was because she played basketball, but I guess she secretly goes to classes, so you guys are gonna get a little inside secret. look at that. Me Roll the clips. <laughs> I don't secretly go to classes. I was born a dancer. Subscribe. There goes Katie. Bye. See you, Katie. Don't break the camera. Katie, please get out of my picture. You are no longer in the vlog. This is how I get around. Guys, this is my good friend Emily Shields. Hi, Alright, guys, so as you may know, I am headed to my first hip hop dance class tonight. We're gonna check out a few outfits. Okay, first outfit. Got our Hot Wheels shirt. Represent 90s kids. Can't forget about the Hot Wheels. All right guys, second look here. Got the black crop top hoodie, some Lululemon joggers, the black Nikes, the hat. You can never forget about the hat. You're gonna go dancing, gotta throw a hat on. All right guys, it was the missing hat. Missing hat was the missing piece, but shout out to Bryson Tiller. Self made, true to self, best album out there. Katie cut that, I don't like that. All right, guys, you know it was the missing hat. We're gonna head out really quick and Uber my way over to Millennium Dance Complex in LA. Get excited, guys. Stay tuned. Ha <laughs> ha, fight on. All right, so for those of you who are not too familiar with Millennium Dance Complex in LA Studios, uh, here's a couple clicks to check out what they do, what kind of work they do, how serious they are, and uh, the talent that they got. Roll those clips! So as you guys can see, they're pretty serious about their dancing. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty nervous, but um, you know, I'm usually good. Like I said in the last vlog, I thrive under pressure. Live your life. No, I want to because no, it's No, 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 you can't. Okay, fine, fine, That's fine. That's like totally. It's hot. 